Call it the undercard in the SEC West. Mark Rogers TV on Mississippi State, Texas A&M. And while the eyes of the SEC and the nation rest on Baton Rouge with that 1-5 Alabama LSU matchup, we first give a little love to State and A&M. And any conversation about Aggie football has to start with Johnny football. Redshirt freshman quarterback Johnny Manziel, another stellar effort last week in a 63-21 route of Auburn. 260 passing, 90 rushing, five total touchdowns. Johnny Manziel now with 29 rushing and passing touchdowns on the season. The AM offense is prolific, top five in the country in yardage and in scoring. But AM 6 and 2, the two losses to LSU in Florida and the offensive attack, much different in those two games. They could score just 19 and 17 and were virtually shut down in the second half. Now, the Mississippi State defense doesn't compare to Florida and especially LSU, but it is stout, probably the third best defense AM has faced this season. So, we point out two huge mashups in this game. First of all, it's the AM offensive line, one of the best in the land with Patrick Lewis at center and Luke Jekyll at left tackle, taking on a Mississippi State front that, again, doesn't compare to Florida or LSU, but in the front seven is productive with some NFL lower round prospects. Danico Autry, one of the productive players up front, along with Cameron Lawrence, the leader at linebacker. He's got three sacks and six tackles for loss. So that's a huge matchup because AM racks up nearly 50 per game when they get balance. Manziel loves to rush, and then they got to get some production from their running backs as well. Benny Molina at 565, rushing this season, six and a half per carry. And then Trey Williams, the freshman, broke out last week with his first 100-yard game against Auburn on just 19 carries. So when AM is balanced, look out. But if Mississippi State can keep them one-dimensional, they've got a chance to hang in this game. Uh, the big matchup as well that we'd like to highlight is the AM wide receivers against the Mississippi State secondary. The secondary is great for Mississippi State. You got Darius Slay back there, and especially a potential first-round pick in Jonathan Banks, who's got 16 career interceptions. That's tied with Walt Harris. If you remember Walt Harris, a first-round pick for Mississippi State to the Chicago Bears in 1995, but Banks is a great player. Slay's really good. They've got other players in the secondary matching up against Mike Evans. What a productive freshman he has been with 47 receptions and also Ryan Swope, who's caught 36. LSU and Florida dominated the ground game and got it rolling in the second half and wore down AM defensively. AM played well in the first half, but LSU got it going with Jeremy Hill and then Florida with Mike Gillisley, and they rolled up the yardage and pounded AM in the fourth quarter in taking over those football games. Remember, AM led by 12 against LSU and by 10 against Florida around halftime. And then those teams took it over in the trenches. Can Mississippi State do that? Possibly. Okay, AM's a seven point favorite. They've got the prolific offense. They're sexier. But Mississippi State's at home. They've got a plus 13 turnover margin, while AM's turned it over 13 times in the three games prior to Auburn. And of course, Mississippi State's got a veteran smart quarterback in Tyler Russell. Haven't made a pick on this game. You're going to have to wait a few days, but we do like the plus seven with Mississippi State against AM. All right, before we talk LSU Alabama, soon would love to hear what you have to say about AM and Mississippi State on Mark Rogers TV.